action. Yo, what's up, people? Welcome to IndieMove.com, your social loop for all things independent. Right now, we're here in Astoria, New York, at William Holland Hot Spot here on 30th Avenue. Great food, great drinks. About to go inside and take a little tour of the place. Also, talk to one of the owners, guys. Come on in. Hey, what's up, people? So, we're here at William Holland with, with one of the co owners, George Rollins, here. So, George, tell me, how long have you been here? Uh, a little over a year. Awesome, a year, huh? So what inspired you to open up William Hallett? It's a beautiful place, man. Thank you. Uh, I have another place in Astoria. It's a bar. Um, I do have culinary background. I used to be a sous chef at a bunch of restaurants in New York, Greece, Rhode Island, stuff like that. Um, but I got an inkling to start cooking again, expand my, my horizons, so I decided to open up with William Hallett. Yeah, right? Speaking of which, Astoria is a great place, you know, but there's really nothing like this on this street, which is a very, very busy street. Um, there's nothing like us. Um, there is other restaurants over here, but we're we're one of the few restaurants that concentrate on American food, um, and they have an actual bar scene where you can get you can get everything you want. You can get your dinner and you can get your drinks afterwards. That's a great combination: food and drinks. You gotta love it. Speaking of food, which kind of food would you say that you specialize here? Would it be Italian, French? What? Um, we're American bistro, uh, concentrating on American classics. New spin on it. Um, it has a little sprinkling of Greek, Italian, uh, French, and Asian in it, but not to the point where it overtakes the food, but just enough to give it a little twist. Greek, Italian, French, and Asian, crazy. You heard it here, that's insane. But if anybody could pull it off, it's probably you, because you were a sous chef in the city before, right? Yep, I held a few jobs. My last one was the sous chef at uh, Bluefin W Times Square. Bluefin, big fan, been there before. Now, this place is not only just food, like you were saying before, you have cocktails. Uh, do you have any like specialty cocktails and things like that? Um, yeah, we, we come up with our own cocktails. We're, I'm a big bourbon fan, so we have a couple of bourbon-heavy cocktails. Love bourbon. Who doesn't? Um, Right now, our biggest one is a speakeasy. It's our take on a Sazerac. So it's very popular. We do it with uh, Buffalo Trace bourbon. It's, it's awesome. I'm going to have to come back and get that. It's called Speakeasy, huh? Yes. Speakeasy. I just like that name alone. That's awesome. Speaking of names, what inspires you to call this place William Hallett? Like, where did that come from? Um, William Hallett is the founding, um, I guess, founding father of Astoria. He bought the land back in 1692, I believe. and. Um, he, it was named Hallett's Cove for a long time until John Astor donated money to have it developed further back in the late 19th, late 1800s, and he got to take the name. But William Hallett is who brought a story to you know where it's at. And now look at it now, Astoria is one of the hot spots in New York City alone. I think it was a really smart move for you to have this place here because there's a lot of great places here, but nothing like William Hallett, you know. And uh, uh, and something else I want to talk about too is just the ambiance of the place. It's very like old school, like. Looks like 1930s, 1920s. Did that was that inspired because you know the name of the place or? Uh, we want to go old school feel, kind of relax, kind of homey. Because um, like I said, a lot of these places are generic looking. I would hate to say it, but modern, modern. Yes. Right. So we wanted to go a little old school with the you know wallpaper, the hardwood, um, and just give it a nice, cool, relaxed feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's beautiful. It's a big bar, too, man. A lot of room back there. That's great. Yeah, all right. Um, so, like, what are your hours of operation here? Uh, we open up at 2.30 for lunch, um, or you could call it late, early dinner. We have the same menu going from 2.30 in the afternoon till about midnight. And then from midnight till 4, we do a late-night menu with, like, burgers and sandwiches. Um, and on the weekends, we do brunches. And we actually do an unlimited uh, all-you-could-drink uh, brunch, 14 bucks. You get to drink all day from the time we open till about 4 p.m. It's a good time. That's a lot of time to, for all you can drink. That's crazy. Now, George, now I've known George for a while now. I've been here a couple of times. I've had some crazy good nights here, but it's also a good spot to like just have, you know, like a laid back time with a date or with, you know, you and your boys kind of hanging out because it just has that feel kind of like, you know, all in one and everything. Uh, but I'm going to have to come back and have like that late night food because that's very, very like, I mean, that's awesome. You come here, have drinks, you're already kind of buzzed up somewhere. Then you come here and want to get a nice burger till, till like 3 or 4 in the morning. That definitely helps you guys out, send you out, because, uh, you know, you can't always go to taco truck every night, correct? That's true. And like you said, you get hungry, you don't want to, uh, you know, walk out of a place when you can still drink there. So have a burger at 3.30 in the morning, and you drink until 4, and then go home and sleep. You know? Have a burger when you're already buzzed, and then you come here, get a nice speakeasy to cap the night off. You go right to bed and then come back for brunch and do all you can drink till four o'clock. 
Yeah, just keep drinking and eating all day, man. That's the way it is. Bro, you offer it all in one right here, man. That's awesome. So, people, check it out. If you have not been to William Howell yet here in Astoria, it's right here on 30th Avenue in between 37th and 36th Street, south side of the street. You got to come check it out. Any more information, you can go to WilliamHowell.com. All right. Thank you once again. In the loop, your social loop for everything independent. Peace. Thank you, George. Thank you, man. Take care.